The sun is shining and race goers are primed for one of the best race meetings in the world, Emirates Melbourne Cup Day. All the major stars were out in the famous birdcage for fun and frivolity in Flemington's most exclusive precinct. It's great to have a break from footy. Uh, the thing about the race is just good to come and enjoy the atmosphere, have a few beers with, with the mates. Um, you're allowed to at this time of the year and um, yeah, everyone dresses up. It's just a great day. I, I seem to find myself back here every year. Everyone's very excited. You can feel the excitement waiting for three o'clock and everyone's asking everyone who's going to win, who's going to win. The second bite will uh, the, the official pin and win charity partner of the Melbourne Racing Carnival. So every one of these pins goes directly to second bite and of course Second Bite do a wonderful job, they get, here even at the carnival, they get all the, the food that hasn't been used and they give it to people who really need it. Maya Fashions on the field was again super competitive with today's daily finalists set to meet on Crown Oaks Day. The $6.2 million Emirates Melbourne Cup has attracted one of the strongest fields in cup history with 13 individual Group 1 winners and 9 international visitors. The Gay Waterhouse train local favourite Fiorente started off as TAB race favourite with Mount Athos and Dan Dano also high in the betting market. As they come around the turn, Faulkner's made ground, he's gone right to the outside and C Moon is coming with him into the straight now and Red Cado and Simonon race up and go to the lead from Mount Athos down on the inside. They're followed by Fiorente starting to come home hard and then came Super Cool and Faulkner down the outside. Red Cado tackled by Fiorente, Mount Athos kicking back on the inside. It's Fiorente in front on the outside with Red Cado. Fiorente and Red Cado from Mount Athos. Fiorente just in front of Red Cado who's coming back, Fiorente by a neck, Oliver's lifting him, and Fiorente won the Melbourne Cup for Gay, Red Cano second, Mount Athos third. He's a world class horse, I'll tell you, he's got an impeccable pedigree and he's he's very versatile from 1400 metres to 3200, you dream about a horse like this. Oh it's very exciting, I can't describe to you, so thrilled for the owners, I can't tell you what a kick they've had, it's everything they dream about, they buy the horse a year ago, the first time it goes around it runs second in the cup, comes back and it wins the cup, and you put a jockey that... You know, I felt knew the course and had been there and the, the gamble to, uh, paid off. Well, it's amazing. It's just, um, can't describe the feeling. I think I've still got chills, but um, uh, it's just um, really special to you know, win Gay's first one, have my family here. It uh, means so much to me. It's probably special because it's the most current one, you know, and uh, it's, it's just great to be back and, and winning big races like this. Um, you know, the Melbourne Cup is a really special race to a lot of people. It's Australia's greatest race and, you know, it's so exciting to win it. A beautiful ride by Damien Oliver to land his third Melbourne Cup, giving champion trainer Gay Waterhouse her first Cup win. Next stop at Flemington is Crown Oaks Day this Thursday. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.